So, how was the forum? The landmark forum? Well, I went in looking for something that I wasn't quite sure what I was looking for. Um, and did it deliver? Oh God, yeah, it, like, it's so over delivered. Um, I'm shocked. Um, I, w I went in expecting to get uncomfortable and uh, to have some of my views of the world challenged. Um, and I definitely got that. Um, I got to meet a lot of fabulous people and I got highs and lows. I got very, very uncomfortable. Um, I got really, really excited, happy, made a lot of connections with people um, over the last couple of days and will do over the next while that I don't think I would have made um, otherwise. Um, but it's also made me realize a lot of things about myself that there's been certain things and definitely with my online world is that and it's not just my online world um, that I've realized that I've been saying one thing and I've been doing something else and that essentially that side of me was that I've been so caught up in what people are going to think and what you guys are going to think of me that it means like putting a certain amount of effort um, and that I've been holding back. Um, I've been holding back on life. And there's no going back now. As in, the only way I can describe it is kind of, you know, the Matrix thing. Do you know what I mean? You've got the two pills. Which one do you want? What well, that, if you take this, there's no going back. And that's essentially where I'm at now. You know, um... I, I know I don't want to back to go out, go back to the way things were, and I'm looking forward to my future, and I'm looking forward to now, and I'm actually enjoying here and now, and some things are starting to kick in place now that I hadn't realised that is in quite a while back, you know, early in my twenties, um, there was kind of a niggling doubt in the back of my head something in there that was kind of saying like there's got to be more to life than this you know chasing things and achieving things and just getting no no peace and no fulfillment out of it no you know there was there was momentarily happiness you know but and there was lots of good times like you know don't get me wrong uh but that for me it was there was there's been something missing i didn't know what it was um and the pieces are slotting together for me now. Um, and I know some of you will be watching this kind of going, what the heck is he talking about? And to be honest with you, I can't explain to you what the landmark form is. Um, I couldn't explain it to you beforehand. And to be honest with you, I can't explain it to you now. But one thing I can say to you is that if there's somewhere you want to go and there's something you want to do, or there's things that are bothering you or whatever it is. It'll be one of the best investments you'll ever make in yourself. Um, and I know I sound like one of them. <laughs> I sound like one of those people who comes out of course and is going, woohoo, go to the course. Um, but I know this won't wear off. A lot of things I've been to before and I'm like, that was great. And a week later you're like, huh. but now I, I know that for me, I've been putting off a lot of things. You know, we all kind of know what we need to do, but we're not doing them. And for me now, I want to say that I'm here standing for the future I've always wanted. And I'm here standing for doing all of those things that I've wanted to do. I'm here for making a difference for you guys. I'm here for making a difference. Because that for me is one of the things that I came in, I saw a lot of the online stuff and it was, you know, people who are earning millions of millions of dollars and they're saying like, oh, I just want to make a difference. And I've always, under, like, I've always understood as in like that, essentially that's kind of what drives me a lot of the time is that I need to make a difference for somebody else because that's bigger than me. And if I do something for somebody else, they won't necessarily do for myself. And 
th that's what it's about. It's not a scam when you see somebody else going, I want to make a difference, I want to help you people. You people, what's that all about? Um, I want to help people, and I want to help others. Because we're surrounded by people. And for me, I've spent a lot of my life putting walls up and keeping people at a distance, keeping you guys at a distance. And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not willing to give that up. I'm not willing to, I'm not willing to, to live life like that anymore because that's scary. That means I'm surrounded by people and I'm alone all the time. And there's been a lot of things that I've gone through and that's what's happened with me is I've been, you know, have to look successful and look positive and look confident. But I've, you know, I'm kind of like, just haven't been there inside. And I think anytime you have a conversation with somebody, you say something to them, they know when you're there. And that for me, I'm here now. I'm here to have those conversations with my friends, with my family, with anybody I meet. Whereas before I was having these conversations, but these conversations didn't mean it. You know what I mean? I couldn't feel it and I didn't feel excited about it. And I wasn't trying to help myself and help you and get excited about that thing. You know, when you're talking to somebody who's into a sport, you talk to them and it could be anything. And by the end of it, you're like, wow, how, how do I get to do that? Because it doesn't even matter what the sport is or what the job is or whatever it is they're talking about. They're so into that that you get that. And that, that that's my future now, is being so into this that everybody's going to get it. I know a lot of you are going to watch this video going, that boy's lost it. But do you know what? It doesn't matter to me anymore because I'm here for a future. And before, I always understood that I was looking for a future. But I was looking for something out there that was going to make me okay and make me happy. And I'm not saying here now, I'm, I'm like, I'm woo, I'm fixed. <laughs> I'm here saying everything requires work. We all know that. But that I've had an idea that I got to do a certain amount of work and then I got to stop and that was the goal. And that, that's been the problem is that I've been looking for the easy way to do things. And I've been in relationships and I've been having, I've been with friends and I've been with family and I've been there and I've been putting on a good face, but I haven't really been there. And they know that and I know that. Even if deep down they know it and they didn't really know on the surface, you know that. When somebody's there with you and they're paying attention to you, you know that. So, if any of you are thinking of doing the Landmark Forum, go and do it. You'll never regret spending that money, ever. And I know you're all looking for information, looking for me to tell you what it is. That's not going to happen. You need to go figure it out for yourself. Or if you don't go, that's fine too. But I couldn't recommend it any more highly. So that's it guys, it's Monday and I'm back, I made it through, I'm still alive and couldn't recommend it any more highly. Um, the lady who brought us through, Gail, she was fantastic and met a lot of really inspirational people. I met a lot of really inspirational people that were walking around thinking they're just ordinary normal people. And that's the thing, is we're all inspirational, extraordinary people. So if you get a chance to do it, go check it out. Go and talk to somebody who's done it. Go and, you know, look into it. But go get what you want out of life. Not willing to settle anymore for mediocre relationships with people. And mediocre friendships. And not being true to you guys. And not being true to all those people that I've met. And not being true to those of you I have never met before. So that's it guys, I don't have anything else to say.